Hi guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, I want to answer this question, what is insulin resistance really? Okay, what is it? Um, it's basically the body's defense mechanism against excess sugar. Okay, that's what it is. Insulin keeps your blood sugars from going too high. Okay, so insulin prevents the blood sugars from rising above 100 milligrams per deciliter. Now, what does that mean? Let me show you in this next part. Okay, so this represents the amount of blood that's in your body. These are filled with blood, okay? A gallon and a half of blood, okay? The 100 milli milligrams per deciliter is one teaspoon of sugar per gallon and a half of blood. So if we put that in there and we put this in there, we dilute it, that would be normal blood sugar. Okay, so it's not very much, but what does an average person consume? Thirty-one teaspoons. Okay, that's a hundred and forty pounds of sugar every single year. Now, do you see the problem? Okay, we're back. So now you know. You don't really need much sugar in your body. Okay, now why does your body work so hard to keep your blood sugars below 100? That's the question. Because sugar is toxic. Too much sugar is toxic to the body. Even at one half of a teaspoon more than you need, chronically taken over a period of time can create damage. Just a half a teaspoon more than you need. And what kind of damage? That's neuropathies, that's like damage to your nerves and your feet and your hands, like in a diabetic. Blind, the optic nerve, creating damage in the eye. Heart disease, stroke, diabetes, inflammation, memory loss, Alzheimer's, sugar feeds cancer. Visceral fat, that's the fat around the gut, okay? So it can create some serious damage. Okay, you got three types of uh, fuel sources. You have carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, right? Um, carbohydrates are glucose or sugar. So here's the truth. Glucose is not the preferred fuel of the body, like people think. Fat is the, the type of fuel that your body does a lot better on. And the reason why people will say that uh, glucose is the preferred fuel is because it's used first. It's used up first. If given the choice between fat and sugar, it will always go after the sugar first. But the reason why it goes after the sugar first is because that sugar creates the most damage. So when you eat sugar, it puts the body in an emergency situation where it has to dispose of it first. That's why. It doesn't mean it's the preferred fuel. It means that it, it's the most dangerous that needs to be gotten rid, uh, disposed of in the body. So your body will stick it into the cells. It'll stick it into storage as fat, that type of thing. And think about it. You have about 40,000 calories of fat and only 2,000 calories of stored sugar in your body. So our bodies are meant to have this huge fat reserve or some fat, a lot more fat because it runs on that more long term than this quick sugar thing where you can deplete in probably a half an hour. So insulin is in reality a detoxifier hormone. It is meant to detoxify excess sugar and sugar is toxic. Okay. The hidden sugar too, the breads, the pasta, the cereal crackers. I mean, how many people are pre-diabetic now? How many people are going into diabetes? How many people have insulin resistance? So many people. So when you burn fat, you actually, you can run your body on something called ketones. So ketones are the byproduct of fat burning and our bodies can run on ketones very efficiently. Okay. Now, can you run 100% of your body on ketones? No, you can run 85% of your fuel on ketones. 15% um, of your fuel needs to be glucose. But here's the catch-22. Your body can make glucose from your own fat or the fat in the diet or the protein in the diet. It doesn't need external glucose. You don't need to consume carbohydrates, okay? So the 15% of the body that basically runs on glucose that can't run on ketones would be parts, certain parts of the brain, 
the outside of the kidney, the lens of the eye, the red blood cell, and sperm. But again, that, was, that can be converted from fat and sugar. It's called gluconeogenesis in the liver. So fat is a much cleaner fuel. It runs on less oxygen. It's less stressful, and it gives off much less waste than sugar, okay? So to recap, what is insulin resistance? This is a protective mechanism that your body has created to prevent the toxic sugar from invading the body. I hope that helped. Hey guys, I just want to take a second and thank you for your recent uploads. Uh, a lot of you are uploading your success stories and they are mind-blowing. Check out the one from Jeff, before and after. I mean, that's incredible. And then we have uh, Maraslo and Quinn and Akeshot and Helena. Check out George and Debbie, John, Lee, Ann. I mean, this is just a few of the many. I mean, it's amazing. So I am just blown away. So if you haven't filled out your success story and uploaded before and after, I want to see it. I, I put a link down below. It's not only mind blowing to me, but it inspires other people because it gives them hope that they can be helped as well. So click the link below and share your success story with me. I want to check it out.